This isn't how doctors are usually welcomed into a room. But then again, Patch Adams isn't your average doctor. I can engage people in such an aggressive way clowning that I never could dress normally. For the last 50 years, he's been clowning around with patients with his funky hair, clunky shoes, and with pants that can be worn in one, two, three, or four different styles. He shared his techniques with medical students in Rome's Gemelli Hospital, which is the same hospital where St. John Paul II was treated. No matter how horrible the suffering, humor is huge in helping. But it's not just about a quick laugh. Years ago, the 69-year-old doctor realized that laughter, love, and compassion is actually good for your health. If his story sounds familiar, it's because his life was made into a movie. Robin Williams played him in the 1998 film Patch Adams. And every time he walks into a hospital, nursing home, or orphanage, he knows exactly where he wants to go. Please take me to who is suffering the most. Maybe humor could have a place in working towards peace and justice in the world. He's taken over 6,000 volunteers all over the world to help him clown around from age 3 all the way to 88. Anyone can be compassionate all day long. For two years, he called random phone numbers to see how he could engage people in conversations. His longest hug, he says, lasted 12 hours. And one day, he decided he would walk into elevators this way. Door opens. <laughs> his personality may be extreme, but so is his desire to help. In 1971, he and a group of 20 adults, three of them doctors, moved into a six-bedroom house and made it a makeshift hospital. For 12 years, they treated hundreds of patients a month for free. The group actually worked odd jobs so they could offer free treatment. The patients were offered to live there at no cost. More than the love and more than the joy, it was the humor that made nobody want to leave. Every day was fascinating. And when asked if he gets exhausted from always lending a helping hand, he says it's just the opposite. The more energy you give, he says, the more you get back.